Yo guys, I'm Yellow, a Norwegian hardcore PC gamer, and today I figured that we should talk about CSGO and frame time, uh, to be more precise. Before we do that though, quickly about this game, I hit a couple of lucky shots, a couple of skilled shots, and some shots that should enrage my enemies here, but they never really got mad. So they deserve all the credit, I guess, because we had a blast all together at supreme rank. Anyways, let's talk about this subject at hand, which is about frame time and your frame counter. Now, if you people know anything about computers, there will be a lot of joints that might uh, generate lag. Your graphics card is actually one of the many contestants towards such things. Aside from your internet connection, the rest of your PC in terms of its overall performance, and the server and so on and so on, alright? Your graphics card is actually one of the more impactful components and you should not route it out. So let's actually dive into what frame time means. It's pretty self-explanatory, to be honest. It's about how long time it will take for your frame to be created and then sent to your monitor. Now, back in the day, I actually learned that turning all my graphics down in Modern Warfare 3 would make me play better. Uh, at a random occurrence, a buddy came over and I decided to do something fun while he was over. So I played three team deathmatch games in Modern Warfare 3 in which I was playing the game at LEGO Graphics. And what I quickly learned, in hindsight only, because at the time I, I was just like, wow, I'm going ham when he's over. That was all I thought, really. In hindsight, I learned that the more frames my machine is pushing out, the quicker and the earlier I actually see what happens in the game. Thus meaning that people aren't really running around a corner and then killing me. Uh, everything is more aligned with what actually happens on the server, and that is actually pretty nice, especially for CSGO or lower frame rates. As you can see on the curve right here, the more frame rates, uh, or the, rather the more frames you get, the better, but especially at the, you know, 60 plus mark, it starts to matter a lot, because a lot of milliseconds are being shaved away, thus meaning that you don't have to wait so long for you to be able to visually see what happens in the game. And that, on its own, is very important if you want to be able to play CS, especially at a higher level. Even though, again, Counter-Strike is a very complex game. You should not route out that if you want to play CS, playing it tactically, playing with teammates, uh, doing very strategic pushes, you know, being able to return frag, uh, sending and relaying information to your bodies properly, and all these other things. All of these things make you a better player in CS, thus meaning that you can technically get pretty good even at 30 FPS. But as demonstrated, the more frames you get, the better. Even though, again, there is another kind of sort of caveat towards playing the game at the highest frame rate, alright? Because lowering all the settings to the lowest degree possible will give you an advantage, alright? That much is established. But CS is a game also about nitpicky details. Unless you're gonna play it in a bold way, which I would not recommend. But what I'm getting at right here is that... If you want to play Counter-Strike, you still need a little bit of an extra edge in terms of what resolution you play the game at. Because you still need to hit, hit those headshots, holding those sharp angles, being able to get that long-range information by visually being able to see your opponent as you're running around or whatever. So, keep that in mind, alright? But all aside from that, still, the more frames you get up to the, like, 350 frame per, frames per second mark, that is normally going to be where you will not get that much more benefit, really. And sadly to say, I'm like, frequently, or rather infrequently, especially on Overpass and Cobblestone, I, I dip all the way down to like 180 frames per second. Or if a lot of stuff is happening, or if I'm playing close to smoke, like I hit those rates anyways on any map. So keep that in mind. Like, yeah, obviously anybody really, but especially a guy like me that is actually skilled at the game, like my raw performance is gonna dip down a decent... Uh, portion versus what I could be able to perform at, per se, if I had a better PC. Like, it's very real that I'm going to then complain and, for example, also not record live when these things happen because it's a very real thing that is going on, you know? I'm being physically hindered from partaking in what is happening in the game and it's very frustrating, especially because of how it's by far more satisfying for me to get synchronized up to a game better. It would be like the discomfort that you get in reverse if you now suddenly play at half the frame rate that you get. So if you get 20 FPS, imagine how it's like to constantly play at 10 FPS or 5. It's insane, you know? So yeah, it's just on a different level, but it's still very real. Hopefully, 
at that occurrence, you people learn something about, uh, I, I guess, graphical g professional gaming or something. I guess that's the best description I could put for this video. Uh, anyways, uh, the article link is in the description if you people want to uh, read through and learn the nitpicky details of the concept on its own. Here are two related videos if you want to get better at the game. Um, if you want to support me and my broke ass so I might be able to get a better PC and such, Patreon link and a t-shirt purchase link will be in the description below. Anyways, do follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Twitch. Thanks for watching, have a nice day and don't get beastified when you play.